Hello everybody, today I will show you 15 items you can do on Samsung's Tizen 4.0 TVs. So let's start with item number one, how to reinstall an app. You press home, you go to apps, you pick the app you want to reinstall and long press OK and select reinstall. Once the app is back, you can load it and that's all. Item number two, how to disable Smart Hub being displayed when TV is turned on. So Smart Hub is this menu you see at the bottom of the screen and it will show every time you turn on the TV. To disable it, you go to settings, general, smart features, and here you unselect this auto run smart hub. You can also disable auto run last app if you don't want last app you use to be displayed next time you turn on the TV. Get information about an input. So if you want to know more information about certain input, like this one, currently I have Panasonic's UHD Blu-ray player connected. Either you press info on standard remote control or if you have smart remote, then you press this button with four color dots and click info. Here in top right corner of the screen, you will know which resolution, which input and so on is being displayed and whether or not the picture is in HDR format or not. Change input name. So for HDMI inputs, if you want to change their names, you go to source, you press arrow up and go to edit. And here you have some selection available with different icons. But if you want to change the name, you go to the right to edit name and type whatever you want. Connect Bluetooth devices. If your model supports Bluetooth, then you can connect audio devices, for example, or Bluetooth keyboard or mouse. To connect audio devices, you go to settings, sound, sound output, and here you have Bluetooth speaker list. Currently I have this LG's music flow player, which I can connect. Connection is okay. And that's it regarding audio. For keyboards and mice, you go to general, external device manager, input device manager, and here you have Bluetooth device list. So keyboards, mice, and gamepads can be connected. Switch to home or shop mode. So if you want to toggle between shop and home mode, then you need to go to settings, general, system manager, and here in the bottom you have usage mode. I highly recommend sticking with home mode for home usage. Only inside the store, retail or shop mode should be used. How to scan for viruses. Samsung TVs have built-in virus scanner. To access it, you go to settings, general, system manager, and here you have this smart security option through which you can scan for all items inside the system and see if everything is all right or not. So far I haven't encountered any virus on any smart TV I've tested but you never know. How to enable PC mode. So if you want full color resolution, for example, when you're connecting your laptop to this TV, then you need to change HDMI input name from HDMI one or whichever, or Blu-ray to PC. By doing that, we will switch to special mode, which will give performance closest to typical monitor. However, bear in mind that uh, many functions are disabled in this mode and for wide color gamut TVs, also color gamut is fixed to native, which means that if your content is in standard gamut, like sRGB, then colors will appear oversaturated. 
Unfortunately, there is no cure for this except to avoid PC mode in that case. For example, you can use game mode and get very similar performance, but without this full color resolution. To enable game mode for lowest input lag, you go to settings, general, external device manager, and here you have game mode. So you simply turn it on and enjoy lowest input lag gaming. Enable or disable HDMI consumer electronics controls. So you can command different devices connected to HDMI uh, with your Samsung TV remote and devices will turn on automatically when you turn on the TV. However, if you want to disable it, you go to settings, general, external device manager, and here you can disable this AnyNet Plus HDMI dash CEC option. Enable or disable ambient light sensor. So if your TV has ambient light sensor, meaning that it can control brightness of the screen depending on how much light you have in the room, you will get notification first time you install the TV in top right corner of the screen. But if you want to disable it or tweak this setting, you need to go to settings, general, echo solution, and here you have ambient light detection option. You can here toggle what is minimum backlight you want TV to go. So if you want dimmer picture in pitch black environment, you can reduce this value. I recommend that you play a bit with this option until you get satisfactory result. How to turn off sound feedback. So when you open home menu and you move across different options, you will hear this sound feedback. If you want to disable it, you need to go to settings, sound, expert settings, believe it or not, and here you have sound feedback option. You can turn it off like this and that's all. How to quickly activate sleep timer. So you can go inside settings menu, go to general, system manager time and here play with sleep timer option. But if you have smart remote with built-in microphone, you can say this command, turn off TV in 15 minutes. And sleep timer is now set for 15 minutes or you can disable it in the same fashion. Turn off sleep timer and that's all. Find out TV's IP address. So if you need to know what's the IP address of your TV, go to settings, go to general, network, network status, and select IP settings. And here you will see IP address and other information. And finally, how to reset all settings to default. So Samsung actually has several options for reset. One is if you go to settings, general and smart setup, it says in the description that it will restore your TV to its original settings. But from my experience, it will not reset everything. To reset everything or 90% of it, you need to go to support, self-diagnosis, and here you have reset. And this will restore all TV settings, excluding network settings to the factory defaults. Uh, if you want to reset network settings, you can do it inside general network menu. You have this reset network option. And that's it for this video. If you have some other tricks to share, let me know in the comment section. Other viewers will also benefit from it. And see you soon in my next video.